Hello everyone and welcome back to In the Paint, the only talk show that covers high school girls basketball in the state of Pennsylvania. I'm your host, Rosie Langella. Nikki and the rest of the crew will be out covering the state championships in Hershey that have been pushed back because of weather conditions. However, I'm here to catch you up on anything you've missed this past week. Stay tuned right after the break. In the Paint continues. Welcome back, and thanks for tuning in to In the Paint. As I said before, Nikki, Joe, and Mike are out covering games, so I'm here to fill you in. Let's start over in 1A. Tomorrow, the District 3, number 1 seed, Lebanon Catholic, will battle it out with the District 1, number 1 seed, Jenkintown, at Downingtown West High School at 1 p.m. Now, looking to the other side of the 1A bracket, on Tuesday, District 6, number 1 seed, Juniata Valley, hits the court against the District 6, number 2 seed, Bishop Carroll. Now, Juniata Valley came away with a victory over Bishop Carroll with a 55-33 win. Now the 1A championship is moved to Tuesday the 27th. Tip-off is at noon at the Giants Center. Now let's look at our analyst predictions. So for 1A, Joe ended up getting 19 correct out of 29, and Mike got 21 correct out of 29. Now let's move to 2A. Looking at our brackets, on Monday, District 12's West Catholic defeated Penn Manor from District 6 in overtime with a score of 50-48. to They will be facing Bellwood Antis from District 6, who defeated their district rival, Blairsville, by a score of 41-36. to The battle for the 2A championship between West Catholic and Bellwood Antis will take place Monday, the 26th, at noon at the Giant Center in Hershey. Now let's see how our analysts did on their predictions. For 2A, Joe ended up getting 14 out of 30 correct, whereas Mike got 18 out of 30 correct. Moving on to 3A, looking at our brackets on Monday, District 2's Dunmore fell to Newman Goretti from District 12 with a score of 66 to 42, and on that same day, there was a District 7 battle between the number two seed East Allegheny and the number one seed Bishop Knevin. Now, Bishop Knevin pulled out a victory with a score of 67 to 52. The championship match for 3A will now take place on Monday, the 26th, at the Giant Center in Hershey between District 12's Newman Goretti and District 7 Bishop Knevin. Now, let's look at some predictions for 3A. Mike ended up getting 20 out of 30 correct, whereas Joe got 22 out of 30. Good job, Joe. Continuing with the brackets, let's look at 4A. Both semifinal games have been moved to Saturday. First, 3 and 1 Lancaster Catholic battles against 12 and 1 Bonner Prendy at Downingtown West High School with a 2:30 p.m. tip-off. On the other side of the bracket, 3 and 2 Burks Catholic battles against the 7 and 1 Cardinal World NC at State College High School with a 2:30 p.m. tip-off. Now, the two winners will battle for the 4A championship on Wednesday. Now, the 28th at the Giant Center in Hershey at noon. We won't know how Mike and Joe's predictions went until we see that matchup on Saturday, but as of now, Joe got 21 correct out of 28, and Mike with only 22 out of 28. All right, now let's move to 5A. Over at Souderton High School at 2 p.m. on Saturday, the number one seed from District 11, Southern Lehigh, will battle it out against the number one seed from District 12 and our very own Mike McDonald squad, Archbishop Wood. The winner of that game will play the winner of the other semifinal matchup. And that game will be between District 12 number 3 seed Archbishop Carroll and the number 4 seed from District 7, Mars. Now that matchup will be played at State College High School at 1 p.m. tomorrow. The battle for the 5A championship game will take place on Wednesday. Tip-off is at 6 p.m. at the Giants Center in Hershey. Now let's take a look at our analyst uh, predictions now. Mike and Joe are both tied with 19 correct of 28 games. All right, on to our last classification bracket. Looking at it, on Monday, District 1's number one seed, Souderton, fell to the District 1 number nine seed, Upper Dublin, with a score of 26 to 25, just lost by a point there. And on the other side of the bracket, Central Buck South from District 1 defeated the number one seed from District 7, North Allegheny, with a score of 52 to 49. On Tuesday, the 6A championship matchup will be between two District 1 teams, the number two seed, Central Buck South, and the number nine seed, Upper Dublin. Now, now this game will commence at 6 p.m. at the Giant Center in Hershey. Looking forward to it. And also looking forward to our analyst predictions here. For 6A, Mike ended up getting 16 out of 30 correct, whereas Joe got 18 out of 30 correct. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of In the Paint. Now there's still a lot more basketball happening in Pennsylvania and the Sports Fan Base Network has you covered. We appreciate you tuning in and giving us your undivided attention. And if you can't watch the shows from the SFBN Live, no worries. Subscribe to our podcast on iTunes. Just search the Sports Fan Base Network. A lot of great content going on there. And while you're at it, 
don't forget to give us a five-star rating. Hope you like us that much. SFBN also has other shows going on as well. The all-new Varsity Voice airs on Wednesdays at 7, and our last episode of Three in the Key will be this Sunday. They're going to break down the PIAA state tournament on the boys' basketball side, so you won't want to miss that. Now, besides our shows, you can always keep up with what's going on in high school sports by visiting our website, www.thesfbn.com. They always have fresh content, articles, and photographs to keep you updated with what's happening in high school sports. Again, I'm Rosie Langello from the Sports Fan Base Network. Have a great night.